Good old British customer service seems to be a thing of the past. In fact, it's something that we now don't expect or receive, and it's rare enough to be pleasantly conspicuous. I think there's a commonality of uh, the, uh, the, the catchphrase, the uh, computer says no, is kind of prevalent uh, from hospitality through to every sort of service. It's kind of like a maze, so if you press the wrong button, you have to go back all the way to the beginning, and it's just like, just put me through to an operator. Let me speak to someone. Um, I think customers are treated as, as numbers rather than individuals. But a new home insurance brand has launched, which aims to change the way we think and put the customer and the company in partnership together. At Together, there are no scripts. Every customer is treated as an individual, their claim processed by the same member of staff, and they're guided through the process every step of the way. Good afternoon, you're through to Together Insurance. Vicky speaking, have the help. Look, I've, um, I've just come back from a weekend away, uh, and unfortunately, I've, uh, it looks like I've been burgled, which is a, a bit of a nightmare for us all. So and I think they've nicked some of valuable stuff as well. Sorry, what was your name again? It's Vicky. Uh, Hi, terribly Vicky. sorry to hear that, sir. First of all, can I take a few details from you, please? I think it's good to build a really good relationship with our customers and to give them direct numbers so they know that they can call us whatever times, and for ownership as well, so the claim handler can take them straight from start to finish. For many, it will be the one claim that they've made in their life and they're unsure of what to do, so it's our job to make sure that they do know what they should be doing. All right, Vicky. Well, look, thanks very much for your help, and, um, you know, I hope you can get it sorted out quick then. Absolutely. Thanks again for your call today, sir. One thing I really like about my job is to be able to help customers and knowing at the end of the day that I've helped them either by starting their claim or completing it to a satisfactory resolution. We often get thank you cards, which is really nice personal touch that we have up in the office, and it just gives you a really great feeling at the end of the day that you have managed to help somebody. Because no one really wants to be in a position to need to make an insurance claim, Vicky at Together has a few insights on how to avoid having to make a claim in the first place. Always make sure that you do double lock your front door. And of course, when you are here at night, use the chain, so it gives you extra security. Same as the locks on your doors, you've also got locks on your windows. One of our biggest areas of claims are escape of water claims. Now sometimes we can have these from dishwashers and washing machines, so I would recommend that you turn them off if you're not in the property. Another good advice is to make sure that you know where your stopcock is. Usually it's underneath the sink and there will also be one outside as well. Plus, our second highest rate of claims can be fire claims, which potentially can be really expensive, so I would recommend that you ensure that you turn your cooker off properly. Another common cause for claims are household appliances that have been left on. They potentially could cause fires. The best thing that you can do is to ensure that they're switched off at the wall, make sure they cool down, put them away, and then you can leave. We recommend that you have at least one smoke alarm and ensure that you do test it on a regular basis. But if you do need to claim, together have some tips on how to speed up the process and make it as smooth as possible. First of all, to act quickly. By that, we mean to contact your insurance company as soon as possible and have as many details on hand as to what happened with the incident and any other evidence that you may or may not need. You also need to gather evidence, and by this I mean photographs, receipts, proof of purchase, anything that can help validate the claim that you're making. In the case of a burglary, for example, we would advise you to contact the police straight away. They will then give you a crime reference number, which is what we need for our records. I would also recommend that you record everything about the incident that's happened, so any items that have been lost, where you think they have been lost, um, what date it happened, as much information as possible. Let's get